Hello YouTubers, back again out. Oh, back in the usual, come on Drew. Um, I thought I'd give the Van Gogh a centre. I've run out tonight since it's been warm, but the last couple of days it's not been too good, has it? Anyway, quick look at me set up. Right. That's where I'm staying. Yeah, this is a campsite, it's not, it's not wild camping as such. But the OEX chair, recommended by English Woodsman. Don't ask what the tarp is. It's off Amazon, it's got like a silver button. That must be down. So, yeah. I got these as well, these posts. I got these off Amazon, and they were 25 quid. But I've got them because we've got another, me and my wife have got. Um, Berghaus Air 4 XL that has a big front door and it's an air tent um, <clears throat> and what, it, what you can do with it is put those posts or whatever in the front and make a canopy and all in so yeah so the Van Gogh Ascent 200 it is it's a good tent not the lightest, but it's a good scent. Let's have a look inside. Definitely only one person. I've uh, got the OAX sleeping bag. Don't ask what it is. got the four class pillow, I've got the trackology pillow underneath. I've got the UL80 mat on a piece of that as well. So really, that's all you can talk about when you're wild camping. Well, camping, I should say. got my bag of beer. Uh, I know it's only Foster's again, but I've got some brew dog in there as well. Um, Sanjay Cook set. Yeah. So, it's going to be a short one this time. Uh, I think everyone jumps on the bandwagon at all. Everyone's just YouTubing now, aren't they? So, don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> had makeup today. So, Fringe is gone. <clears throat> gonna have a fire after, so I'll bring you back when I'm having something to eat and a burn and a few more beers. Got a little hammock there, might jump in that later if it, well, it's not gonna cheer up. Yep, right. See you later, taters. Well, firebox is on the go. Hopefully. In 10-15 minutes, I'll have a nice juicy steak on the go. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Two rump steaks with peppercorn butter. That's my tea for tonight. Along with lashings of beer. Now, oh, back to my usual Foster's. going oops let that get going and then I'll come back when I'm cooking I don't know if you can hear that <clears throat> and that's the reason why I wanted to come camping tonight it sounds ridiculous but, oh don't stop <laughs> I love listening to the noise of rain on the tent. Okay, I'm on the tarp now, but fire going. Tell us it's not bloody raining now. Fire going. Nearly ready for mistake. When you live in a town like me, um, I live just off the town centre. And we got car washes, we got takeaways galore, shops a lot. When you get away to this, and there's nothing, no noise, only noise of nature. That's what it's all about. It doesn't matter about getting up in the hills and 
walking for miles and hiking. As long as I can get somewhere that's quiet. There's only me on this campsite. There was supposed to be somebody else. They was in the teepee. Um, but they called it off due to the weather conditions. Because I think they was expecting it to be like it was through the week with a heat wave. Um, Last time I come here, I come here one of the lads from work, Mikey. Um, good laugh. He's a, he's a good lad. Um, and we met a guy who was up in the, the, the trees at the top, the very top up there. Had his hammock set up, and he actually said it's one of the best places he'd been. And for five pound, five pound per night. Unbelievable. And you're in the middle of nowhere. The campsite is called Calendur and it's just outside of Ruthin in North Wales. It's a one hour, 25 minute journey from Warrington in Cheshire. That's where I live. Um, an hour and 25 minutes and you're into this. Unbelievable. Speak to you all later. I'm going to get another beer. And I think that's ready for cooking on that now. It's a bit too much. Mmm, a bit hot yet. Let it cool down a bit and throw my steak on. Speak to you all later. Well, this is the inside of the Van Gogh Essent 200. Look at that space. Excuse the, the brew dog. I've got everything in just this one side. And the bonus, you get that? To look out. Fantastic tent, I do love it. I do, do, do love the Essen. Oh, yes. It's a uh, 5,000 hydrostatic head. I think it's 2.9 kilo. What a tent. It's just absolutely awesome. Head height. Well, I'm six foot. Sat on my bed. Loads of room. So, yeah. Whatever over Cloud Peak 2. Yep. It took me. Seven minutes to pitch it. Two poles. Yeah. Two poles. That there. Look at that. Nice. Absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. And if you wanted to, you could actually pull that back. For cooking, it's it's a fantastic tent. The Van Gogh Ascent Two Hundred. Great tent, I love it. Bestest tent in the world. The only thing about the Van Gogh Ascent Two Hundred is that it doesn't have. A hook for a light. Now, every time in the middle of the night, when I needed to get up, it's been... Ow! 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 Apart from that, what a fantastic scent. <coughs> oh, I'm putting everything down now, but... I was sliding like mad last night. I'm six foot. And, and there's at least... 12 inches from the bottom of my feet to the end of the tent and the top of the tent to my head it was about another 6 inch an amazing tent <clears throat> I prefer this than my Nature High Cloud P2 said it the other week that I didn't but I do when you wake up to a view like that <clears throat> Oh, 
Well, I've had my brew. I've had a, what do you call it? Some breakfast cereal bar thing. And it's time to pack up and walk away from this lovely place. Just washed all the pots. Rest to be put away. Would have a mess with the thing, but as I say, I'll leave no trace. Had the fire going last night. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. When I've packed up, <laughs> excuse the grunt, but uh, this morning, Adrian, the guy who owns this place, told me that there's a nice river down the bottom of the hill. So when I've packed up, put it on in the car, I'm going to go for a walk down there. Hopefully, I'm going to come back when it's in warmer months. I can then have a dip in it. Dunk the junk, as Hayes Outdoors would say. I swear as well, that Trangia cook set is the best thing going. I say it on every... You know as well... Uh, <clears throat> forgive the shaking, I had a few too many beers last night. Um, it's something Paul Mesner said the other week. And English Woodsman was the same. Um, English Woodsman was that he doesn't like the hammock camping no more, which is fair play. I've never tried it, I do want to try it. I've got a hammock, I've got the tarp as you can see. Uh, bought a hammock off Amazon. I'm just, I don't know. Where, in case someone like pops in on the tarp and looks at me. Paul, like I say, Paul has no saying that he's, if I'm remembering rightly, that he was a bit, he was getting the, the, the drive to get up and go, to go out and do it, but I was the same, um, but I managed yesterday to get out, it rained last night really, ever, which is one of the things that I wanted, Um this is just a cheap tart, this. Look at the water, it beads off it. Fantastic. I think I paid. I think it was a tenner off Amazon. My wife got it, man. I think it's three. Three by th three. By three. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it hammered down last night, and that's what I wanted. Uh, just to hear the, 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 the sound of rain on a tent, but like an Egypt. Because I had this over the top. Um, it it baffled it some way to stop stop the noise, which was gutted about. Still got to sleep though. And I have to say, I went to bed at nine o'clock and I woke up at seven fifty-seven, and I only woke up once in the night. I walked up the top this morning. We brewed, had a quick coffee up top. Um, just had a walk, and it was heaving with rabbits, rabbits and pheasants. That's the main camp bit there, where they all camp. Uh, yeah, see the rabbit up top. Don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can zoom into it. Wrap it up there somewhere. <whistles> like it's gonna come over. I don't know if it's gonna look like on video. YouTube, I should say. Yeah, you see the little fella? He's not moving, is he? Yeah, there he goes, a little white tail. <laughs> I was looking up there, wasn't I? What a dipstick. <clears throat> I 
Like I say, he's making this into a campsite, so... Well, it is a campsite. The only problem that I have is... That. But it, it, it is his small holding. And when he's not got his clients on here, or campers, whatever you want to call them, that he still has to make a living as a farmer as well. But if you can find a pitch without the sheep shite, it's a cracking, cracking stay. But when I come today, yesterday, <clears throat> there was a few new things. That's the water there. Don't get me wrong, it's only uh, it provides that for you if you want any. Tub of water. And if you can wash up in that, you can do. Got a fire bucket under there. Got a compost toilet going there. But these are new when I turned up yesterday. I mean about the shit though. Like I say, he has to because it's a, a working farm as well. Um, when he's not got customers on here, he grazes his sheep and rams. So, yeah, a little nice uh, seat there. Overlooking this new thing. Zip wire. See it, but if you've got kids, you fancy a bit of wild camping. Well, nearly wild camping, I should say. I'm down here, five per night, a person. Zip wire all the way. Not that when we was kids, we make our own. <coughs> Like I say, there's plenty of room up top for hammock camping. Um, like I say, I only pitch there. There's my car. There's a tent. But it was much needed. Uh, due to the fact that I've been a bit stressed lately. Not stressed as such, but... 52. We're grafting. I needed the... Uh, I needed the breakaway. Just for my own mental health, but just to come and relax for one night, chill out, a few beers, burn going, and a sleeping tent. <coughs> Little horse this morning. <coughs> like I say, guys there, tent there. And it knackered me walking up this little bit of a hill here. I was absolutely shattered walking from there to there. My rucksack. So, oh, cows are lying down. Is it dead? Oh, that's going to piss it down. I don't know what this is going to look like on YouTube. <clears throat> Let's have a put it on YouTube. Tiny acorns called mighty oaks. A magnificent tree, aren't they? Got a swing there for kids as well. Hammock there. And at the top, <coughs> there is a good place. There's quite a few places. Last time me and Mikey come from work, uh, there was a lad here, I forget his name, Scouts lad. Cracking fella. Uh, he had a hammock set up. He said it was good, but cold, because he was in the shade of the trees, so it didn't be expected. But, yeah, you want any wood to burn on your fires, as long as you cut it up small and don't have a massive fire. Exactly. It's all dead wood. Oop. Okay. 
있습니다. Last night was the OEX Fathom EV400. Totally warm one last night. You don't want to be seeing this, so I shall bring you back when it's completed. I don't know if that's worth it or not. Great. What's left now is a tent to put down. Like I say, this is the Vangawa Synth 200. It's a great tent. It has two vestibules, and I mean massive vestibules. Um, entrance from both sides, and it has this thing as well, which I think is ideal. Zip, you've got mesh, mesh, mesh and mesh. Like I say, that's the only problem with it, it doesn't have a hook. For the uh, for your lamp, I never had the vents open last night, and there's not one bit of condensation on that. You got a vent there. You've got two vents. You got one either side of that, but I'm not going to go into that. Right. What I'm asking is, if anyone could comment and tell me how the hell these work. I'm sure it's supposed to be so you can tighten it down to that. I'll put it in that and it just keeps it just keeps going to its full length of that. And I don't want it to do. So if anyone could comment and let me know how that worked, it'd be uh, gratefully appreciated. Yeah, what a great tent. The Van Gogh Ascent 200 Trek. I think it's just under 3 kg, so it's not the lightest of tents, but it's a belter. And it takes literally seconds to put up. <laughs> a couple of minutes put up, and that's it. Dead easy. It's a geodesic design. 
all the poles are attached together as one, as I think a lot of um, Van Goghs do. You have like a little coupling there that spins and turns, so you colour code it as well in each corner. Blue, blue to blue. And I think it's yellow on that side. Yeah, yellow, you can all just see it. Yeah, fantastic tent. And as you can see, it's blown a gale now. Uh, not a gale, but it's windy. And this tree is just solid. But if anyone could help me out with that, how they work, it would be gratefully appreciated. Cheers. I hope that worked. Oh, well, that's where the fire was. That's where my tent was. Like I say, I'm done now. Left no trace, even though it's a campsite. But we don't need people having big fires and leaving big scorch marks all over his new campsite. So, yeah. Right, take it easy. Uh, like the video, put the thumbs up. Uh, leave us any comments you can. Much appreciated. And if you can, like and share my videos. Uh, I'm Paul. You've been watching Nicky's Adventures. See you later.